Welcome to Kari Gumbo, the podcast where Nicole and Ashley discuss Black film and TV. I think that it is very difficult to come off of insecure. And so I think that they have some big shoes to fill and and maybe they don't have to fill those shoes. Like these are two different shows, but mm-hmm. there, there are times where I'm like, this feels like a, like a Issa Rae production, like just certain, certain comedic turns, certain, certain, the style of humor, the, um, the, the way it's shot, it feels like Issa Rae. And I think Issa Rae and Insecure are somewhat synonymous at this for me. Yeah. And so it, And so I'm expecting to be connected to the characters in a certain way. I think I just, I, I saw myself in Issa and Molly in a way that I don't see myself in these two girls. And so I I think that's the issue, but, um, and and I think there's, there's, there's no part of them that, that I can connect to. I mean, we're not trying to be rap sounds. stars. We ain't trying to but be rap I'm, stars. I'm, I'm, I was also not trying to be a lawyer. And I under, but there was a part of Molly that I connected to. But the I, show, I don't, go ahead. I'll, I'll say in Insecure, the professions really didn't matter. Like Molly could have been a doctor. She could have been a teacher. She could have been an accountant. Her being a lawyer was not a, the show. That, she could have been an HR like her being a lawyer <clears throat> was not a big part of the show for me. Like that job title could have been anything. I agree. But these girls. And maybe that's it. Maybe that because with Living Single, and when I was watching Living Single when I was young, I didn't want to be, I didn't know I wanted to be a writer. So, but I connected to the show when I was older and watching Sex in the City. I was like, I want to be a writer living in New York. So I connected to Carrie. I'm trying to think of other shows where I really like the characters. I I don't feel connected to any of them. I just started watching Shit's Creek. Okay. And I really like it. Maybe I connect with them because I understand what it's like to um ha- be low on funds and live in a town that you're not really excited about. So ma- yeah, so maybe it's just I don't know. Like I and these girls are younger. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm more connected to me a mom because I I don't think I've ever seen a show that um with a mom like her. With a young mom. I'm happy because I'm tired of these stereotypical moms. Put some more yeah, young she, mamas she's on. She's problematic TV. too. She's problematic. And it I I I wanna yeah. know more about her. I really wanna know more about her and I wanna, you know. Issa's, the character, Issa's mom on Insecure was a young mom. And I, Wendy yeah. Raquel Robinson, I, I love that. I, that popped out to me because, like, I, I'm i just so over. I love Claire Huxtable, but the Claire Huxtable archetype. And yeah. who else? Harriet Winslow. It's like, everybody mama ain't yeah. that. Yeah. Even the, both of the moms on Fresh Prince, like, they kind of had it together. Like they, yeah. their lives were together. Khadija's mom, her life was together. Yeah. Maxine's Regine, mom's life was. Regine, her mom kooky. was eclectic, but that was. But she like... had it together. She ain't had no problems. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like she was annoying, but it was cold. You know, I, I think that I wouldn't be surprised, and I, I, there might have been some episodes that I've missed. So I don't know if this has happened, but I wouldn't be surprised if Mia got a call saying her mom was in jail. Come, come figure <laughs> it out for her. Like, I like, I like, that's so interesting to me. But yeah, I, I'm not connected to them. I've, I've, I'm not a scammer, so I'm not connected <laughs> to that. I, I've never, I've worked in hospitality. Me and you worked in, in, in hospitality in a, a little kind of when we worked, when we did like yeah. the Disney college program i um you have spent a good deal of time in south florida i lived in orlando you and i lived in orlando for a little bit 
I'm just not. But you know what? I do love Haitians. Oh, yes. And it's Haitians up in this show. And that's so there you go. <laughs> because you cannot have no show in South Florida without no Haitian people. Yeah. No type of Caribbean people. They didn't really say where um, Shauna's mom is. She didn't have an accent. I couldn't tell. I she's just black. Where from. Oh, she no, not Shauna. Shauna's mom. Shauna, not Mia. Yeah, when Shauna went home, was that episode two or three? She had an accent. And so, but I couldn't really tell where it was from. But I'm like, yes, Probably diversity. Grenada, what is it? Grenada, I don't know, Guyana, Grenada, Trinidad, I'll say African, I don't know. But I love seeing diversity among black people. That's what we need. Because, again, all these black shows be having the same, like, I, the same type of everything. I'm like, y'all y'all do know we we diverse, right? And if you black people making these shows, I'm like, yeah. y'all don't have friends that have parents from different, like, y'all don't have no Nigerian friends? I yeah. like the, um, I guess it leans towards body diversity. Cause Shauna is not hourglassy. Like Shauna no. ain't got no big ass. Shauna ain't got like I I really like that. And I, I yeah. like that we can still see her. Cause I mean this, I think the same was the case for Issa and Molly, but both of them were kind of skinny. They're thin. And so yeah, yeah so, but so Shauna's not yeah. Shauna's not thin and she mm. and she's not the most curvy person. And no. so I really like that because we still get to see her as kind of sexy. There are certain scenes, yeah, where she's sexy, sex kitten, and and she and her, be... her size. It's not a, it's not, it's not an issue. She's not like hiding her body when she's with yeah. a man. It's like yeah. no, it doesn't like... come up. It doesn't no. come up in a way that that I like. I yeah, like yeah, because nobody care about that. <laughs> Seriously, you know, I like... mean. I feel like in 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 regular life, just say I don't care. I don't know the actor's name, but I don't. Well, I'm just assuming for people who body type someone to hers, ain't nobody worried about if a man like their body. Like, yes, girl, you you pull in men as anyone else can pull a man. Yeah, it ain't no different. Yeah, I think. If this is supposed to be loosely based on the City Girls, which is, is yes, it? I've okay. heard that. Yeah. So, I think that both Carisha and JT lean more into that. I want a curvy BBL ish body, not BBL ish body, but I want thin stomach, fat ass. Cur- I, I want curvy. I, I I want breast implants. I want you know. And I don't know. Maybe they haven't had any work. I don't know. I don't care. But I think that they fit a certain physical archetype. That, yeah, that they do. That is not happening in the show, at least with Shauna. I will say. I can see that. But yeah, season one. You know, I I was here for it. I'm here for season two. Um, I think I'm, I'm a little bit more invested in now. season two. Yeah, I'm just trying to wait for when. <clears throat> um, if this is following the city girls, when's Shine gonna get caught and go to jail? Because if she's supposed to be JT, I'm like, girl, when you? I'm waiting on that to happen. And yeah, because I would love to know, like. What's you happening when you What's in happening? jail? Because I know niggas know you. So I, to me, like, that's a safety thing. It's also a pride thing. Like, you, Carisha is performing at the BET Awards and you are in jail. How does that feel? Yeah, so show that. Show me that. I'm ready for that. But I guess they got to lean up to it. I kind of feel like it's taking a long time. It's like, okay, because you got the... Are they brothers or two Haitian guys? I feel like they cousins. Okay. 
and they she just got married. married. The one who used to play Issa Rae's brother. Okay. Oh, um, he just got married. Because the way they be whispering at the family functions and going behind each other's back, I'm like, who gonna tell on who? And mm-hmm. then the one <clears throat> don't like Shauna and don't trust him. I'm like, okay, when is the sky gonna fall? Like, who's what's going yeah. on? Shauna was working at the hotel. What was Mia doing? I Mia was just hustling, child. <laughs> Mia feel like Mia had an OnlyFans type yeah, situation. She had OnlyFans, but I can't remember what else <clears throat> she was doing. But they rapping started as kind of like a hobby, but now they they taking off. They getting a little buzz, and they're like, "Yo, we can probably make something of this. Let's be serious. Mm-hmm. Let's you know be serious about this." They are going on tour with this um white rapper Raina Rain Raina Rain Lamey Lame that I joke was lame <laughs> but trash they, they have to like play the background to her and of course you see the aesthetics this is a a, a white woman yeah. I wouldn't even call her light skin she a white woman oh yeah she's white appropriating she's... black culture yeah and you can tell we get the sense that she is like supposedly the bigger star or has the supposed to be the most popping star but Mia and Shauna they're they're getting a buzz about around them but they have to play background to this white woman which yeah. Shauna's pissed <laughs> Shauna's pissed Mia kind of going with it she's just like man it is what it is I think Mia is always like if it's about a check she's gonna get it she so gonna play yeah. where she had to play, and I, I understand because Shauna, Shauna's parents can be trusted in a way that Mia's parents can't. Mia has a daughter. Um, her child's father doesn't have. Like he's a trying steady to be a rapper gig. too. He, like he's an artist. He's an yeah. artist. Like so, he's not working customer care down to the sprint. He ain't doing that. So he don't have a regular check coming through. So I, so like she, I, I think that she, her situation to her might feels dire, you know. And I think that she is at that moment in her life where everybody has it like you kind of have multiple moments like that where it's like oh if i don't change something today oh yeah it's not gonna like, happen i'm gonna be just like my mama or i'm gonna be out here on these like she she's having that moment and so i think she is just chasing she's chasing money but i think that she also wants to hold on to shauna because it feels like it's something with integrity and I think she's kind of leaning into Shauna's um, love for hip hop and stuff like that. Because I think she's she's kind of getting with it. She, like she's yeah. kind of starting to rap on her own. She's kind of starting to like freestyle a little bit. Like, don't they have that moment where they're in the, the apartment together and Mia starts freestyling? Oh, she's like, oh, good. Or no, she wrote something. She was like, I wrote this. I think this is like the end of season one. I don't know. I started with like watching. I think I stopped at like episode four of season one. And then I was like, all right, let me go and just watch it all together. So I could be getting the seasons mixed up. But I say all that to say I understand why Mia is making some of the decisions that she is oh, making yeah. because she is trying to get to this happens by any means necessary. Yeah, and she's kind of dragging the baby daddy along, which is kind of hurting my feelings because I'm like, <laughs> I really like him. <laughs> I really like him as an actor. Um what was he in? He was in like the good, the bad, the ugly. What was that movie? It was I like no a western clue. with Idris Elba and Regina King and it was on Netflix. It was on Netflix. Okay, yeah, I don't remember the name of it. And he just played this like hot headed. So I really liked him. I really liked him, and um, and so, <laughs> so I really like his character. And he seemed like he's a stand up dude. 
Right. He seems like a yeah, he's a nice guy, but I can understand it's like it's not about if you're a, a nice guy, it's like do we need to be in a relationship or not? You can be a, a great person. But quit playing but, with him. Yeah. Quit playing with him. Like don't be in your feelings coming home and you know what I'm saying? And now you you trying to get busy. I, I sound like I'm 38. Get busy? <laughs> you trying to make whoopee with this. <laughs> you trying to do all of that. And then the next day. You- I think Mia's just trying to figure out what and who she wants. I think she likes being single. I think she likes being single. I think she assumes that. I think she wants a love interest. I think she's trying to kill two birds with one stone. Like, I really want to be loved. And I also really want help, like monetary help. And so if I could get all of it (laughs) in one package, then great. You know? If she's supposed to be the Carisha girl, then I mean, I understand because baby, but me and my friend Jari were talking about that. Like how sustainable is that? Because you tie you connecting yourself to these niggas. Girl, when you you gotta make the statement about what is going on when that nigga had that baby. Oh, first of all, no one believes y'all are together. No so one. We talk, so we talking real life right now. We ain't talking Mia. Really, we talking let's go ahead. Other. The show's good. The show's cute. But go, girl, we, no one, no one, at least no one south of the Mason-Dixon line believes that y'all are, that you and Diddy are, I, I don't even believe you've ever kissed this man with your tongue. I just don't believe that. I never believed it. Okay? So that's number one. So when that baby came, it's like, oh, we know what it is. All right, girl, whatever. But now all these allegations, Cassie, not another woman, and another woman coming out. I believe it all. Were you going to keep your show on revolt? Is that your show or is that his show? Are you going to say anything? Are you gonna interview people? Are you gonna keep interviewing people? Are you gonna what's happening? That's a good question. So this is not like you chasing money through these niggas. You got to make sure you vet these niggas, cause <laughs> this nigga could really hurt your damn brand. That's all I had to say. Well, back to Mia. She got caught up dealing with um, what's his name, Cash, Cash, whoever. That flew. She got flewed out, spending the night with him, and then sent the text to him by accident, talking about got him. Like, girl, she could have played that off. <laughs> she like, well, well, she was, she was in a multiple. Yeah, and, it, and he was like, I mean, after that, because he already said he had a girl, his ex was using him. So he already got his guard up because he'd been through this before. Do you think she liked him at all? No. I mean, she probably thought he was cute. I mean, <clears throat> he looked good. But she's not worried about She's not trying to get to know him. Who do you think she likes? For real. Um, I don't know. She like her baby daddy, I and I think that. I think she I think she also likes this new guy. That in this fight, this fourth episode, the the dude she goes to oh, his in the studio room the and, and dude, they, yeah. yeah. And they no, he not light skin. He he a little chocolate. He had a and dress. He, no, mm mm. The one who was like he was he um she was hungry because her stomach kept growling when they was in the bed. He have, he have locks. The dude Shawna was with had had 
braids. The other dude didn't have up. braids either. Uh uh-uh. uh. And he was he was a little he darker. He had no low haircut. He had a low haircut. He had it wasn't hair. low. It wasn't low. It like he take that sponge and why his hair kind of <laughs> wet. Oh yeah, rub it round. And like he do that. <clears throat> Anyway, I think she like him. I think she was. Because when she I, get back on the bus, it was like, oh, well, how was it? And she was like, I don't know. We didn't do that. We just talked. That's all we did. I think she I was think surprised. She like I think she was surprised by that. I don't know if she liked him. Yeah, I think so. Because she was ready. She was going to yeah. do it. But he was just like, yo, you clearly starving right now. You need food in your tummy. I can hear your stomach. Like, I don't even feel comfortable right now. Like I, I'm not comfortable. Yeah. Like you need something to eat. And it's, it's good that like, as opposed to giving you something that you want, I'm going to give you something that you need. Yeah. Like, let, let me, let me do that for you. And I think you're right. She probably hasn't. She was surprised. She was like, what? Yeah. You going to feed like, you going to give me some food and you're not expecting me to do nothing in return. Like, Really? And that is so very sad because nigga the least you could do is feed me. <laughs> if I'm like the least you could do. Feed me first. She didn't even eat when she was at um other dude's house. She's talking about oh she gonna order Uber Eats. I mean not Uber Eats, Amazon Fresh and cook him food. I'm like, you really oh okay, she was trying to she was trying to uh yeah. really slide in there. It's just blowing up in your face, baby. It's not good. He keeps he keep dropping the ball. Probably because the ball shouldn't be up in your hand. You need to be focused on your art. You hear me? You need to go focus on the lyrics. Go get in the studio, make some beats. <laughs> what was Danny talking about? Let's go in the studio and make some beats. That's what you need to do, ma'am. Let's see. Meanwhile, Shauna is, um, how do you think, how do you think Shauna's attitude, her, what do you call it? I mean, she has a right. I get her point. And saying everything is misogynistic and sexist and ridiculous. And it's like, how? Like, I get how she's like, I, how do you play this game? There's only so much you can do. The aprons were bad enough. I'm surprised she didn't take the apron off like Mia did. I would have been took that apron off once I saw old girl was in her outfit. I'm like, oh, we're not doing aprons no more. Because it don't even make sense. If the if, if the white if Raina is she's in a a black two piece looking swimsuit type thing, why y'all wearing aprons? They don't even match. Because they some the mammies. They some mammies. That's what they supposed to be. I I don't even ask. Like when um what's her name? Went to go ask or tell them, oh, they don't feel like wearing the aprons. I'm like, why are you asking? Just yeah. show up on stage with no apron. Be like, oops, I don't know, must have got lost. What that ap- What happened to that apron? <laughs> I got that apron. I thought I had that thing on. I thought I was wearing that thing, man. I'm like, about oh, to look out, oh, look out! You said no aprons. I'm sorry. When we saw, yeah, the, we got I the, you uh, said no aprons because it made us look like some mammies. That's what we thought you said. You ain't say that. Exactly. Oh, so you want us to look like mammy? Oh. What is it? Get your non-melanated look like your parents was cousins' ass up out of my face. Who, French How you one? in Miami? You ain't got it like you ain't got not a damn bit of sun. Francois, he he like he must he Haitian and white. One of his parents, it's probably his daddy is the Haitian one, and his mom the white mm-hmm. one. White mama syndrome. You talk about <laughs> it. Duke and her wannabe pimp business. 
What do you think is going on there? Because it's not I working out. I, I want her to get sliced. It's not working out. I would really, I do not like her as a pimp. It's not working. Um, Duke's not making no money. The girl's not listening to her. Like, they doing their own thing. She might, she, it's not for her. She's not, because she's not being violent. If she was oh. beating their ass, they they would oh. straighten up. Okay, um, but but um, and I'm not condoning that. I'm not saying <laughs> this is not a silly moment. Like beat her, beat beat them, <laughs> beat them. Um, I just I think that she is trying to be in a in the sex work space. That I don't know. I would love to talk to a sex worker about this because are there are there pimps who are not violent that that operate in the way Duke in the way she's trying to operate? Like she just seems like you trying to take after your uncle who like we're not in the sixties and seventies and eighties no more. Niggas got phones now. People like there's there's no way to I cannot I can, so in in the seventies if I get out of a pimp's car and get into a John's car is that what it's called a John like get into his car do whatever get paid I gotta give the money to somebody. I got to show you that. I, but now, like, you could just cash at me. Like, I don't know how it works. I, I don't well, know I how it works. Because you're saying, I mean, who's paying in cash? There, there are other ways. There are other ways to be sneaky with hiding money. Do you know what I'm saying? And what type of protection are you really offering these women? Because you're small. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to to talk to somebody who's a sex worker who feels like they have an honorable person who manages them. I, it just seems like you're trying to be an old school pimp with, but that like that era is, is that I think that's gone. Like that's, that's gone. And there was a, there was a certain abuse tactic that, that had to be there. There was like mind control that these people had over these women. And I don't think you even want to do that. Like we saw you get close to it at the end of season. I don't know if it was the end of season one or the beginning of season two. But you was talking to the girl at in the car saying like, what you mean? I run this. Let me hear you say it. Oh, I know you're in charge. You run this. I was like, gross. I, I don't know. If, did you get, did, did that character get, did they enjoy that? Do you even want to do that? I don't think I don't think they are broken enough to be a pimp. <laughs> it takes a like I like because you ever like hear pimps talk. It's like man, you was one sad ass individual. Like you really hate yourself and you hate women. You was really sad. I don't I don't think I I don't know. I, I'm not. Like, I haven't done the research on, <laughs> like, black sex workers and new age pimps. I have not done that. I just, I and I also, I mean, we're not in the age of OnlyFans right now. We about to be. We about to be in the age of OnlyFans. But I think that now, like, girls is really making money off, they could really make money online. You could be, you could, I mean, you could fuck, put that shit on, on Pornhub. And probably make some money. I don't see. I, I just feel like. Is that being phased out? I mean now the scam is. Women <clears throat> are just going up to the room. And stealing. Wallets. And leaving. Listen. I guess you gotta do what you gotta do child. But yeah, yeah. they're not. They're not a good <clears throat> pimp. Duke is trying to find herself. What do you think she want? Money to be successful, but she just don't know how. 
I think she really want to be their manager. I think she really wants to, I think she really wants to be a part of their story. You know? I don't yeah, know. I think so. Maybe that's why she's keep holding, holding on to it. Cause it's like, girl, find another way to get money. Cause this one ain't working. The girls ain't listening to you. They not making money. You're not getting no money. It's not working out. You know, what's kind of sad though. Who in the rap industry do you know has gotten to where they are without the fuck shit? Because you see all the scamming that Duke is doing in order to make shit happen. Like, oh, I'm going to get y'all song played in the club. And it was like, I'm going to scam the DJ, but I'm going to scam these niggas. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be a little trickster figure to get shit done. And... And Shauna is stealing money. Oh, we need money for outfits. Oh, I got it. I mean, maybe King Combs didn't have the scam, but you see what your daddy was doing. Yikes. Um, well, I think mm, two things I'm thinking about. It's difficult because a lot of people in the sports and entertainment and music industry, you always hear they come from um, poor families. So it's like, yeah. who is coming from? Like, just just middle class. You can say Beyonce. Like, I don't know what Beyonce's dad had to do. What he I think had Beyonce to go was like upper middle class. Well, yeah. Yeah, I agree. But I'm saying, like, I don't know what her dad had to do when he was, like, when they were teenagers. I don't think he would. I don't I don't take him as a scammer. But I did see an interview where he, um, he explained how, because he worked in sales, he was like, it's the same thing. Like, mm-hmm. you work in sales, you present a product, it doesn't work out, you present the same product but in a different wrapping paper or whatever he was like the same the thing i learned in sales is the same thing i did with the girls so it's like i guess if you want to call that corporate scheming (laughs) just presenting the same product over and over but just in a different way or just no you couldn't do that with kelly Rowland though Ooh. Am I being mean today? Ooh. Let me just cut it out. I mean, inquiring minds want to know like what is happening with her career, but I'm sure he's not her manager and hasn't been for a very long time. The past week, I've been watching all these Christmas movies and Kelly Rowland got like three. The Merry Little Christmas, <laughs> her and Brisha Webb. They are very entertaining. Oh, then we could we we should review some. The Merry what they Little Christmas. You girl, you too. It'd be our. <laughs> they may be on. You gotta just type them in. It might be on Hulu. I don't know. It'd be Merry Little Christmas, Merry Little Christmas, baby, Merry Little Christmas wedding. There's like three of them. I think. I think they're Lifetime. I think it's uh, I think they're Lifetime movies. But they have. I enjoyed them. And oh, and who's her mama? Debbie Morgan is her mama. And oh, Bruce Debbie Brad- Morgan. And Brisha Webb plays her sister. So Kelly Rowland is doing darn fine in my eyes. And her and her husband executive produced them. I've seen it on the credits. Come on. And I'm sorry. No. Like, I see the, I really like Beyonce. Like, I really like Beyonce. I saw the little clip for Renaissance, the little trailer. And I seen all the members of Destiny's Child in there with the exception of Farrah. And oh. y'all won't y'all gonna stop doing fair like that. I I I really don't think that that's right. But you think also, it's like, be there, child. I don't know. But also, like, why the f- like? Why do we need to see y'all to get y'all gonna do y'all gonna put out some music? Are oh, we gonna talk? God, daddy, y'all your parents did Latoya and Latavia. If we need to talk about that, then don't, don't show me them girls. First Let them all, go ahead on. No, I no, I want the 
DC5 movie. All of them. Because Latavia was on uh, the Terrell show talking about how she went to jail like three times, like during that time, like after she left the group. And for what? Say was going, she said she was like, she was in jail and she went through like a, a dark period in time. And I'm like, that's just, give me that story. I if you're not going to give me it. that, if you're not going to give me that, talk about how on, because on Jagged Edge, um, um, documentary, the BET documentary is not unplugged. What is it? Unsung. Unsung? Talking about y'all was trying to get Latoya's um, pe- mama kicked off the bus. Ooh, talk, to, talk to us about that. Why? No, no. Like, then they was like, we're not kicking them. We're not kicking this lady mama off the bus. Wait, who was who wanted to kick her off the bus? Not Jagged Edge. Oh, okay, so it was someone else. Okay. <clears throat> I believe Farrah when she talk like why Calendria got to change her name. That ain't Michelle's name. Tanitra. Why they got to change their names? But Beyonce and Solange could have the 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 different names. Why? I believe Farrah when she said she had the tan, so Beyonce could be the lightest one in the group. I believe that. And speak to that, like speak like, hey, my dad won shit. My my hey my people told me to do that. I was wrong for that. We was wrong for that. Other than that, like I don't see them girls on that damn documentary. Girl, no. Sorry. I want the Destiny Child movie. I want them to tell me what was what was Latoya doing, what was Latavia doing. Yeah, show me that and show me them children. Home. Show me them cute children. Show me how Blue is in charge of everything because I know she is. I think I have a feeling. Show me how she came up with the choreography. <laughs> Show me how she don't take no mess in that house. Show me. Show me how she's setting up the interviews with Gail and Jay-Z. Show me how she's the one doing the deals to get the library to, to honor Jay-Z. Honor her daddy. I, I know she's behind that. I know she's the mastermind behind it. Show me that. Now show me them women if we ain't about to get cute, if we ain't about to get down in the in the, the, the details. That's a rap show. Well, you know yeah, what? I Listen, know. I think it's a fabulous show. And I'm excited for the next half of it. So, okay, so you think so is Shauna going to jail at the end? Cause I because at the end of season one, when the police was there. I thought she was going to jail, but then uh, season two happened and she's on tour. Yeah, I was like, it, did I miss some? Did I miss an episode? But it's like, no, nah, like nothing. So when she going to jail and then she over there telling her parents she's being investigated and they're like, what? What's going on? And she was like, oh, I don't know. It might be something in the paper, but I just wanted to let you know first. So like, <laughs> Just building a case so they come get our ass. And also the hotel probably, like, somebody knew. And that's the thing. Because, child, at my last job, when I tell you niggas was scamming and stealing. It's like, this is not back in the day. Like, you can easily track anything. And so when they these kids worried about, oh, is Shana <laughs> going to tell or who going to tell? Ain't nobody got to tell, really. Y'all don't have to tell. Y'all don't have to tell. You ain't got to tell nothing. Yeah. And y'all think that people don't know. But a lot of people know, and they're just wait. And I think the way it works is like people will just wait oh, until they you get wait. caught because I think because they want to, they gonna rack up them charges, and they gonna they gonna let you rack it up, and they're gonna be like, well, let's see, like let's see what this person because we need proof, we need undeniable proof. So let's let them keep on doing this, and that's how they get you. It's like when it seemed too good to be true. It yeah. more than likely is. And a lot of times, like, not a lot of times, but from what I'll see, from what I have seen, you might get a call to be like, hey, what's this? What's that? What's this? What's this? What this? It looked like you're doing this. Are you stealing? Are you, what, this is what it looked like. Or, oh, no, I'm not. Oh, okay, thank you. Go back to your desk. Bye. Have a good day. <laughs> you won't hear shit. You won't hear shit for like two weeks. And you just working and working and working. And you thinking you done got out of that. 
and then they'd be like, oh, yeah, come on, because we was just trying to get shit in order to make sure we had our shit in order so you don't sue our ass. They gonna have the receipts. They gonna have the receipts, the camera footage, every single documentation. Yeah. Bad for her. Um, when do we typically feel bad for the villains? Because she don't know what she's doing. It's like, none, none of these girls know what they're doing. I think you, you're these people who are coming to you, they're on vacation. You assume you're stealing from the rich, you know, so it's like, uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I think Shauna, what I don't like is how Shauna will like give Duke critiques about like, you got us performing here and you got prostitutes in here. What the fuck? Bitch, you a whole damn thief. Shut the fuck up. Cause she don't at least think this like is that. like at least this is somewhat honest work. Like we're not scamming people. Like we're offering a service. Niggas is paying. You stealing from unknown people who don't know what's going on. Shut your ass up. This is the light skin. This is the this is the light skin. This that I be talking about. I think Shauna that's, that's just problem. disassociates herself. Like she is she's not putting two and two together. Because even at the end of season one... She thinks she's above everything, and that also be getting on my damn nerves. No, because at the end of season one, when Homeboy called her and was like, yo, like, no, she told him, she was like, yo, I've been calling you, like, where you been at? And he was like, I I, I was in jail. She was like, for what? What you mean you was in jail? He was like, what the fuck you think? And she was like, like, it doesn't click. It's not clicking in her head. I'm excited to see what happens. So let's see. Oh, so they kind of embarrassed uh, Raina Rain when they was at that little kickback performance in Oakland. in Oakland. And they was like, oh, we're not performing with you. And then she had to go on by herself. And she was a little nervous because she didn't have, you know, her, uh, what do you call it? To save her the mammies. day. Her mammy to save the day. So she had to perform <laughs> by herself. And she was a little nervous at first, but she kind of got it. You know, she kind of she wins the crowd over. It. But then Shauna and Mia get on, and they really win the crowd over. And yeah, and then we see Francois with his uh, white mama self <laughs> talking about, oh yeah, these are my artists. You know, it was like boy, bye. So I'm really trying to see, I want to see if they're going to finish the tour with Rain and Rain or they're just going to be booking their own dates. Because yeah. now, because now they know, um, what's his name? What's his name? Lord. What's his name? I want to say Lord Tyreek. That's not his name. Lord AK? A little, yeah, Lord AK. Light skinned nigga. Light, light skinned nigga. Go ahead. Because at That's first, they didn't even know him. It was just like they were guests of Raina who was opening up for Lord AK. But mm-hmm. now, Shauna met Lord AK, talked face to face. He's seen them rap because he probably wasn't paying attention to whoever was opening up for him the past couple shows. And so now they know him. They don't need. Uh, Rain and Rain and Francois as the middle people anymore. They can just talk to him. I be like, yo, give us that's what you can do. They just talk to um Shine's go get back with Lord AK and be like, hey, give us five minutes. Yeah, that's it. Just give us I, five minutes. What I also like about the show is it shows how unrelegated this shit is it's like the wild wild west like there's oh, there's yeah. no cop to call in the wild wild west like there's no there's no hr team to talk oh, to no. like there so it's just like you just out here hoping people are good and more than likely yeah. they are not and you just you it's navigating that it's scary when you've been you're not especially when you're not trained in it i mm, think uh, mia's daughter's father's gonna show up in la I do. And I think you invited him. She did. Why are you acting like, oh, I don't know what, what, what just happened? Girl, you invited him. Because she was oh, in, I think I just invited him. Yeah, you did. Because she was in her feelings. That's all. Because she can't juggle multiple men. She, 
She don't. These girls don't know what they're doing. She can't juggle multiple men. Hope you enjoyed the show. Hit us up on Instagram at Curry Gumbo. Hope to see you next week. Bye.